What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the new series called The Number Games. We have got a pretty decent episode this time, uh, we've got you know a 30k team. Um, I've tried to keep it a bit more lower in price because I think a lot of people on this game don't really have the most amazing you know, amount of coins in the world. Um, so I've tried to keep it like a, an amount that people can really afford. So as you can see here we come up against this kind of standard team, um, he's got like a Serie A, non in, well non rare team, um, apart from the striker there. Uh, but I think that, that guy's called Alibi Alexander or something like that. Uh, but he's got a lot of pace, that's all I really know about him. But as you see here, the first goal from the other guy, um, you know, a, a pretty decent goal to be honest, but kind of lucky on my behalf. You know, the, I don't know what really what my goalkeeper was doing um, at all. And then here again, what is my goalkeeper doing? Um, really, really quite annoyed by that. But so that made it 2 0 in the 41st minute to him. Um, and I sort of knew I had to do something about it. Tried to, you know, sort of step my game up and really. Um, pursue and try and win. Um, as you can see here, nice little chip over with El Shawe, uh right into the path of Pato. Kind of lucky there with the guy headering it straight into Pato's path. But you know, that is 45th minute. Um, maybe a bit of scripting in that one, I don't really know. But a really nice, um, I don't know what it's called, it's called like a hill chop or something. Um, but like it's like a flick chopper I really can't remember but really nice skill move there from Rice and slots at home. And then we got really, really lucky um, with El Shawe in the 90th minute. Goalkeeper just passes it out, El Shar is there, just going to be a poacher and a slot at home. So the game finished 3-2, which means that they're, well, 3 plus 2 is 5, which means you have to buy the first player um, off the fifth page. And here we are just setting our search criteria to 3k maximum by now, which means the maximum, you know, we can spend on this team is going to be 30k. And I always try and, like, fulfill that price. Um, I don't really like leaving out, you know, a few k, um, because I really want to make it just a natural 30k team. But... As you can see here on the fifth page, we've got Roberto Carlos, Valbuena, we've got Subotic, we've got Turan, um, we've got that right back, but I can't really remember what his name is, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it. But I think, you know, we, we did have a kind of thought about this. I don't really, really want to buy uh, Valbuena. You know, French team's kind of bo bit boring, and I didn't really want to go over all the mainstream stuff. Hipster, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, um, you know, Roberto Carlos uh, as well, Brazilian player, I don't really want to go down that route, it's just a bit boring. So we go up and end up buying Subotic, um, going to be the first centre back in our team and is in a 4-3-1-2 formation so we've got a nice formation to build around our team. So we also buy, as you can see there, Ivanovic um, and then we go and buy Stankovic. So we've got three uh, Serbian players there in our team already which is going to look really nice in our team. So the fourth player is going to be Miguel Valbuena uh, or Velboso or something like that. Um, but he is a Portugal centre mid from the Serie A and then we also buy as you can see there Basingua to link up with Ivanovic to get 9k on that player. The centre forward in our team is going to be Palacio, um, Argentine, really really great player, a lot of pace and just you know all round decent player. The th yeah, so third centre mid actually is going to be Pogba, um, bronze player yes, uh, he has actually moved from United now um, from what I know but he is you know a pretty good player, he's got really lot well in my opinion an amazing long shot um, there might be a few clips of him with a long shot you know very soon I'm not too sure but we also buy the see there Evra and then we buy the Borussia Dortmund goalkeeper to link up with Subotic to make him have 9 chem but the two strikers that we go for are Saviola as you can see here used him in the past he's got 4 star skills and it's just an incredible player for his price and then we go with Higuain um, I did want to buy Tevez but I didn't really have enough coins I was like 4k short of buying Tevez so that was kind of annoying um, but you know we can only spend 30k on the team so that is the ending team um, there's no links with you know that the Serie A side um, and Bundesliga side with Evra and Pogba but you know that is the team um, for me I'm really quite happy with it you know it came out a lot better than usual um, but just through well first impressions in this team um, after playing I think a couple of games so far um, you know first impressions a really really nice team um, I won my first match 5-2 and that just you know sort of spells out how good this team is for me um, and you will see the first five goals in this you know the goals at the end to be you know some pretty good goals and I played against a team with like Messi in it, PK and this team just destroyed it as you can see there Higuain with the really nice finish in the seventh minute to make it 1-0 um, and then here we go, Palacio to make it 2-0 in the 28th minute, which makes it, you know, a really nice goal. Um, did kind of shrug off Pico there. I don't know if that was a bit of EA scripting or whatever, um, or just, you know, a pure handicap or whatever. But you can see here a really nice goal there uh, by Saviola, just a 360 spin to straight onto the volley. And I don't really know whether whether that was a back heel or not. Um, I did upload a video just saying, is this a back heel or not? And people, you know, kind of said no. Um, a few people said yes. So I was kind of a bit... 
you know, I didn't really know, know whether it was a back heel goal or not. Um, so I'm gonna leave that guys that decision to you guys. Um, personally, for me, after doing it frame by frame by frame, I think it's just an EA glitch where it looks like it's a back heel goal, um, but it really isn't. But that's pretty much gonna be the end of the video. Um, there's gonna be a few more goals, but I'd just like to address something. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for the, for the support. On the recent videos um, it has been amazing and also for you guys to go and check out my second channel um, I have got I, don't, I really don't know what it's called I can't really remember but it's like Jack 54 SD or something um, I really don't know why I called it that but you know that is what I called it um, I might just upload some Call of Duty stuff on there just some other games that I ever play um, you know I have a laugh on Call of Duty with a couple of my mates and we just sort of take the piss out of people on there or just we do some GBs so I might upload that it might be a bit of a funny uh, channel for you guys to see but other than that guys thank you very much for watching please do hit the like button a thousand likes would be incredible to keep this sort of run of the good likes going on this series it would be uh, really nice to see other than that guys thank you very much for watching a thousand likes would be incredible and peace